been getting hit with an unusual amount of radiation from the sun since last week, one of the biggest solar storms in more than six years. We asked Bill Whitaker to look into it. This is the sun seen from NASA satellites displayed in vivid colors to enhance the light for scientists. And that right there is the solar flare-up that caught the eye of scientists around the world. Doug Biesecker is monitoring this eruption at the government Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado. That was a big flash of light, x-rays and ultraviolet light from the sun. Got here in eight minutes. Sunday's massive solar blast spewed a vast cloud of protons, electrons, and atomic particles toward Earth at about four million miles per hour. The rush of radiation brushed across the top of our planet. As it passed, it forced some utilities to boost power to compensate for electrical interference. It interfered with some satellite transmissions, as well as radio transmissions from planes flying over the North Pole. GPS isn't quite as accurate as it would normally be today. If you're expecting to fly in an airplane from North America to China tonight over the North Pole, sorry, your flight's going a different way. You're going to be late getting there. While the technological impact was minimal, the visual impact was, well, take a look. From North America to Norway, all around the top of the Earth, the night sky has been spectacular the past couple of nights, the result of those solar particles colliding with the Earth's magnetic field. And tonight, the northern lights might be seen as far south as Michigan, Montana, and Maine. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles. That's something. Off the coast of...